Hey, Dave here. Today I was going to tell you about garage lights. And uh, I'm not talking about garage lights like these that you mount to your ceiling. I'm talking about the LED lights that you can put on the exterior trim of your garage. So, what I've found is there's typically three different types. There's just a universal color like white. And then you have programmable lights which can change colors red they're all red they're all blue they're all green or different shades in between those are programmable then you also have addressable lights and those are the ones that we're going to focus on today all right so let's start off by looking at just your solid color led lights which is a spool of them right here i got 12 volts going on in my little self-made power supply you see you have just 12 volts and a negative right there and just your LEDs. So if you attach the negative, there you have white lights. That's all there is to it. Let's take a look at the programmable lights. These I think by far are the most common. You can see right there, oh look, they all have their own separate little color. But look down there at the bottom, they're all one universal color. Don't let this fool you. That's what they're trying to do here. At least this package is a little bit more uh, honest in their advertising. It shows just all one color. That's what they do. Let's take a look at the programmable lights with the remote here. You have the solder points, which I would call them 12 volts, green, red, and blue. 12 volts would be your positive 12, and your negative would be to the green, red, or blue. That's if you want to just solder the lights on and just power it with a 12 volt power supply. If you're going through the module, obviously you can change it because the module controls all that, but still you're restricted to only one color. All right, let's take a look at this programmable LED package that we got here. Plug in your transformer. You got your adapter that goes to your control module that goes to your remote. And these are three spools of the LEDs. So if you want to turn it on, you hit the power button. And there's green, got a red, got a blue, light blue, orange, different colors. Okay, cool. You can also do different modes. Let's see if I can get a mode going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a mode. It's kind of flashing. Let's see if I can do it slow. Anyway, you got your selection of different modes you can do there. You can do it yourself modes. There's a good look at the remote. But um, yeah, it's cool, but it's all going to be one light color is the whole essence of that. Okay, so these LED lights are programmable. It wouldn't let you know by the box. It's pretty stupid advertising again. It doesn't even have the lights on. What's up with that? Let's take a look at what's in the package for the addressable lights. You got your clips that go around the exterior of the garage. You have your two spools. They go into an adapter, like a Y splitter. Here's your adapter that goes into transformer. It's probably 12 volts. And let's see what happens when we plug it in. Yeah. So obviously all the lights are independently lit, meaning each light can have its own color. It's addressable, just like you'd have an address for your house. All these separate lights have addresses for them. They're all done by means of a circuit chip. What do I mean by a circuit chip? Well, let's look one of these strips. The strip is from this copper contact to this copper contact. So we have an LED, have a little resistor. There's your circuit chip. A couple more resistors, LED, resistor, circuit chip. And that's the end. 
but see what it says right there 12 volts ground in digital digital in digital out that's the key there that's what tells these circuit chips how to address each individual light that's how it works Okay, so I did an either stretch starting with the middle of the garage, going along the sides using these little clips all the way down to about right there and I had about two feet extra on either side. Alright, so those two leads go into the adapter right there. They go up to the transformer into the extension cord, which I run alongside the garage door opener to one of those push button timers so you can get a Walmart, which is not plugged in right now. Another option is always to use a remote switch. You just put that in series with the extension cord here, and here's your remote. This way you can just simply turn on the lights with the remote. And just turn them off. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.